Well, hello guys, welcome back. Um, I've had a busy day today, so I'm sorry I haven't been on. Um, you know, you just have those things you have to attend to. And I had a dream this morning, and I could not figure it out. And it was Odin speaking, Odin speak. I was in a hospital and I was visiting someone. And Odin was coming down the hall and he was nearly floating. And he was dressed in this gorgeous blue robe. I mean, he was gorgeous looking. And the person that works with Odin estimation of gorgeous looking, he was extremely thin, almost skeletal, and his beard was long and kind of black. A lot of black with me, but some white in it too. And his mouth was open, and, and people that don't work with him are like, this is some scary. And it was just this yawning cavern of black, like he was screaming, but he was coming towards me super fast, like he was so happy to see me. And he came up to me, now that I understand what the dream was about, he stabbed me. He stabbed me with six knives all at once. I don't know how he did it. It's just he moved that fast. It was a... <laughs> and it didn't hurt. And it was three rib, three down one set of ribs and three down the other. And I'm looking at them. And he said, see? You're not hurt. You're not hurt at all. I told you how tough you were. And I'm looking at these knives. And I'm looking at him. And he's so absurdly happy looking. And... He had made me forget this dream. I got up and I could just remember I had been visiting somebody in a hospital, but I couldn't remember why. I think it was a male, but I knew it wasn't my father or anything, but yeah. And then something unlocked it. And it was Odin's encouragement time with me. Um, he just kind of speaks that language that he knows I'll eventually understand. And we're having fun adulting this month, which means... Remember how I got into that bad habit of, oh, let's just go to the DQ. Oh, let's get to the gas station. But that's up after a while, so we're not in the hole, but we are cooking at home. And I do know as a fox totem person, we want to have all of our food and eat all your food too. So it's actually hard for us to start cooking actual food we have in our house. It's weird, but it is. But we're working through it. And we're actually right now, we're making rice, so we have the yummy rice treat for ourselves. And it's been, it's been really good, and he's been working me through a lot of things, and he worked me through a lot of things today. And then we came to the period where um, all these things from the 1950s just start popping up in my feed, and I'm like, I know YouTube's random, but that's really random. And this one came up, are you ready for marriage? I'm like, oh. And it was the sweetest, gentlest talking down Odin has ever given me about, you know, you have to, you know, I hate a certain term, but if you're in a relationship with a deity, you have to be willing to meet them halfway. It is not, I think, as a lot of people think, especially during the courtship or the passionate stage, get everything you want, and the god is now your magical ATM, and you can just go bloop, and all this gifts start pouring out. You'll have a good life, you probably won't have a glamorous life. And you'll have a good life because you'll learn to make the life you have good. If that makes sense. I'm getting finally back here. Um, I could be here crying because, you know, I'm doing a lot of cooking at home and I'm thinking, oh my god, my electric bill next month, but I can't think about next month right now. I'm, I'm cooking at home. I'm blessed to have food. So we're making our rice. And remember all those completes he wanted me to buy? And I thought he was insane because we got, like, one carton of them because I misread the thing. Well, they're coming in handy. We made um, a casserole tonight with a bag of those spicier-than-hell Doritos. <laughs> and we threw in a boiled egg and we put a little mayonnaise and a little sour cream in there. And that is so delicious, guys. It tastes like an actual adult made it. My food you can sometimes taste like a toddler made it, but it tastes pretty damn good. So we made that, and we're working on the rice. So we're, we're working on me picking back up the basic home skills I should have. And that's part of the companionship. That's part of learning to reach a compromise and learning to be a gosh darn adult and not 
as I said, let the inner child kick and scream and cry and whine. I could have been irresponsible and bought some games, and then we wouldn't be able to do this, but we can. Oh, and by the way, I don't I don't get paid to endorse them, but that next day's shipping on Walmart actually works. I got my laundry detergent today. I got noodles. Oh, those were so good. So, I'm actually doing pretty good. I did have a little bleh there but Odin understood he said he knows it's tough and he says he knows that the way companionship with the gods is sometimes you know presented is that somehow the god will put you in a penthouse and you will be eating off gold plates and eating caviar or whatever your idea of heaven is and I really don't want any of that but that's the thing presented to you it really is that's how most people make it seem that these people don't actually have this life and aren't actually driving Bentley seems to escape most of us, but that's how most people make it seem. And then you get into the relationship and you're like, oh, it's just like having a mortal spouse. There's still taxes and bills and figuring out the food budget and figuring out what to do with what money you have and all these other decisions. And I realized as I've been watching all this 50 schmaltz, which is actually really good advice, um, that we do have to stay on a budget. We do have to do more economical things, maybe for the rest of the year, try to save up for next year so I'm not crying during tax season. And we can all use to grow up. No matter how old we are, we can all use to grow up. And I did, I did break down. I was so ashamed of myself. I did buy one game, well, one set of games for, um, 79 cents. I was so ashamed of myself. <laughs> and look, he's like, it's okay. I think I think we'll make it through. And to show me he was being good sport, weirdly, I got a one penny um refund from Walmart for undisclosed reasons. Apparently they charged me one penny too much, so they they have sent me a whole penny. So <laughs> so lucky. Um, and they, they appreciate I'm being a good sport of it, and they know it's hard, because sometimes adults have to really adult, and you have to give up even all the fun things, and I was just losing it lately, because I said, you know, I don't have a TV, <laughs> I don't have cable, I don't have a cell phone, I don't have a car, just let me have this, and it's just not in the budget. And I'm sorry, but a lot of a lot of these, um, you know, relationships, the god doesn't go okay, and then just like shake a money blanket over you or something. At least not my experience. Your your needs will be met. They won't be met in perhaps the luxurious, <laughs> luxurious manner you wish. And we we've had to sit down. It's just like any other couple. So you have to sit down and talk. And I I had to get it out of my system. I said yes. I would like to be able to go out to eat two or three times a day, actually. I really would rather not cook at home because then I have to clean up in the electric bill. Oh, my lord. I said, yes, I would love to be able to get every game I see and everything I see. Let's admit it. I would like to be loaded. Every human would. It's just our nature. It's our hunter-gatherer nature. But, you know, I don't need those things. And that's the difference. I don't need to eat at the fast food or the restaurants in town. I don't need to get video games. I have hundreds of games. And mysteriously, now that that addiction of getting new games is being fed, I'm not playing any games at all. It's, it's kind of like an addiction. And also, I went on Steam and I thought they're really tone deaf. Do you know what the new VR game was for Steam? I won't even tell you, but I'm like, that's really tone deaf, given the events of the last couple of weeks. So, it's a compromise. And Loki and Odin agreed with me that it was really tone deaf, and they're like, wow, really? Um, a game where you do that, considering what just happened? That's lovely. So, um, it's just, they're gracious about it. They've been gracious about it. They've been gracious as I've been struggling a little bit. And that's human to struggle in any kind of relationship with the deities. It doesn't have to be a very close one. It can be, you know, whatever. But it's normal to have your ups and downs. And it's normal to want the gods to give you sometimes more than the gods think <laughs> you need. If Loki really thought I needed fast food or I would die of sadness, the money would come from somewhere. If he really thought I needed video games or I would die of sadness, the money would come from somewhere. 
but um, I've noticed Odin has this ominous note of discipline in his voice sometimes. <laughs> Not towards me, but he thinks, he's like, this is why we're doing your studies, this is why you're going through this, and Loki even said he wanted me to pay the taxes the way I did this year, because he said, I want you to go through the discipline of doing this, I just want you to have this skill set. He said, you can balance a budget, and you've balanced one for like a decade almost as an adult. He said, but I want you to have a super lean budget for a couple months. It's going to be good for you. It's going to knock the fast food party time out of your system. And it's going to knock the video games out of your system. And then when you choose to do those things, it'll be different. The weird thing is, I bought soda, guys. I haven't just had soda since sometime. Oh my goodness, it's been almost a month now. And I bought it, and it's it's in there. It's in there. It was like one of the last things I bought when I went to the gas station. But it's not it's not a thing. I'll eventually open it and drink it before it goes bad, but it's it's not a thing. And then I know I'll have to go through the couple months of not drinking it to get it to need out of my system, but so yeah, um I hate the term God spell saying you guys know I do, so I try not to use it, but it, it that's what the relationships are really like. It's like any other relationship, sitting down working on the budget. Figuring out how you're going to pay taxes and pay your utilities and put food on the table. The first thing I had to go were all the games and eating out. And I didn't think it was fair because I cried about all the other stuff I don't have. And Odin just looked at me like, cry me a river. So the dream this morning was kind of like, look at all the stuff you've gone through and you're not hurt. And you're alive. And see, I love you and I'm so happy. Look at you. You have all those knives sticking out of you and you're still standing. And I was just looking at the knives and looking at him and I was profoundly happy and I wasn't sure why because it didn't hurt. I wasn't dying. I thought that really should be killing me and it should be painful because those are all, you know, internal organ wounds and didn't hurt at all. So I don't know. But that's Odin's dream. That's Odin's way of showing me he's happy. With some people, he's really sweet and gentle. And that was kind of more warlike aspect of Odin being sweet and gentle. It was like, I'm so proud of you. You're wounded, yet you're standing. Yay! So, if you guys like what you see, like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you later. Bye-bye.